All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about how you can determine whether or not it's possible to have a triangle with a given um, set of data. Um, so they will give you all the sides and all the angles, and they will say, is it possible for there, for there to be a triangle that exists with these measurements? Um, now, you could use multiple methods for testing this, but in your text, they give us what's called the Mawit's equation, and it includes all six parts of the triangle. Notice it has A, B, C, and then angle A, angle B, and angle C. And of course, when we're using this, um, lowercase a is the side opposite angle A in the triangle, lowercase b is the side opposite angle B, and lowercase c is the side opposite angle C. Okay, what we are going to do is, and notice there's two of them, you can use either one. It's up to you. Um, either one will give the same result. And what we need to do is put our values into this equation. I'm going to use the top one. And if the two sides of the equation come out equivalent, then I know that, yes, it is the parts of a valid triangle. Okay. And now, had that being said, your calculator even rounds a bit because it doesn't have enough room. So if you are within reasonable amounts, okay, so your numbers are pretty much the same, you're okay, so within the thousandth, or a hundredth of each other. So let's do a test. Let's test this one out. Um, again, I'm going to use that formula right there. So I want to do A. My A was 12. Minus B. B side B was 8. Divided by the side length C. So 10.6 is supposed to be equal to the sine of 1 half of angle A minus angle B. So angle A is 79.1 and angle B is 40.9 divided by cosine one-half C. So the cosine of one-half of angle C. And this is in degrees, so as you're calculating this, make sure your calculator once again is in degree mode. Okay, well, let's calculate each side. So on the left-hand side, I take 12 minus 8 over 10.6, so that 12 minus 8 is going to be 4, divided by 10.6. On the right-hand side, I do 79 minus 40.7 is 38.2, and then I multiply by a half, or divide it by 2, and that gives me the angle 19.1. Okay, so on top is the sine of 19.1. On the bottom, 1 half times 60 is 30, so on the bottom we're doing the cosine of 30. I'm just going to use my calculator. And I'm going to calculate the value of each side of the equation. Again, what we're checking is to see if this is a valid equation. Are the two have sides actually equal? So here we do 4 divided by 10.6, and I'm going to write this out as long as I can. So 3.77358849. And on this side, I do the sine of 19.1 divided by the cosine of 30, and I get 0.377838684. So notice the numbers are not exactly the same, but to the thousandth place, they are. And so this, yes, is a valid triangle. There may have been some rounding here and some rounding here, and that threw it off just a bit. But as long as they are pretty much the same number, um, you can safely say that, yes, these are the possible values for a triangle using this property. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of one that's not, so you can see you know, what the difference might look like. So here's another example. We're asked if this is the possible parts for a triangle. Um, again, I'm going to use the top one, but you can use the bottom one. It doesn't make a difference. They both work. So we're going to do A minus B. So 4 minus 6 over C is 8. Is that equal to the sine of 1 half of A, angle A minus angle B? So 32.4 minus 68.2 divided by the cosine of 1 half of angle C. So the cosine of 1 half of angle C was 79.4. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So um, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 
over 8. And then on this side, 32.4 minus 68.2 gives me negative 35.8. And then I need to take that times a half or divide it by 2. And I end up with the sine of negative 17.9 divided by the cosine of 1 half of 79.4. So 79.4 divided by 2 is 39.7. I'm going to now calculate each side with my calculator. So negative 2 divided by 8 gives me negative 0.25. On the other half, on the other side, the sine of negative 17.9 divided by the cosine of 39.7 gives me negative 0.3994759495 949, which really isn't necessary. Look, notice these are not even close. I have a 0 0.39 and a 0 0.25. Um, those are not even, they're not even within a tenth, or they are about within a tenth of each other, which isn't good enough. So this would be no. Okay, so this is not a perfect equation. Like I said, due to some rounding, you may get really close, but not exactly the same, and that counts, like our first example. But notice these two were not even close to the same number, so they are not.